Hey guys and welcome back to another Revit tutorial where today we will be creating an awesome tile material that you can use in lots of areas like bathrooms, kitchens, restaurants and the like. Uh, before we start, please remember to hit that like button if you find this helpful, it really does help me out a lot. And remember, if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified and go check out some of the other videos, I'm sure you'll find something helpful on this channel. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is set up just a basic building outline and bathroom outline. So I just want to come up to the architecture tab and hit wall. And select, if I just scroll up here, I'm just going to use uh, this brick veneer 250 timber wall type as an example. Get a rectangle and draw a basic building outline. We zoom in, you can see that it's, we can't see the layers of this wall, so to show those we just need to change the detail level from coarse to either medium or fine, I'm just going to go fine in this case. So we can see in there the layers of the wall. And we're just going to draw our bathroom in this bottom left corner in this case. So we'll go wall again and change our interior wall type. Let's use a stud timber 90 as an example. And just come in here and draw a pretty big bathroom like that and hit escape. And we can even add a door from here. So architecture door. And let's put a door in here and just hit tab like so. Uh, I might just move this, select this section and just using the keyboard to move that down like that. So now we've got our bathroom there and the first thing we want to do now in terms of materials is actually set up our material before we can apply it. So we're going to go to the manage tab and click materials and just do a search up top by typing in tile. You can see there's nothing really here that is particularly helpful so we just want to show our library panel. And if we come down to tile, let's just have a look in here. Um, we might just use one of these. This uh, tile porcelain 4 inch is kind of similar to what we're after. We just need to modify it a little bit. So to add that to our document, we need to click this up arrow, like so. And then we can hide the library panel by clicking this button up here. And let's rename this by right clicking rename. I always like to give it a dash to show it sh just so that it shows up at the top of our list and we'll call it 100 high by 300 wide subway tile as an example. So we've got our new material and now we just need to modify it. We want to come up to the graphics tab first and set our foreground surface patterns by clicking right here. And we always want to use, uh, in this sort of case, a model pattern type. So click in model and if we scroll down we can actually use, we could, if we recognize that this brick, uh, 75 by 225, can actually be scaled up to a 100 by 300 pattern. We can use this, so select this and duplicate it. And let's call it tile, and we'll call it 100 high by 300 wide. And we're just going to scale it up by pretty much four thirds, but because we can't punch in a fraction here. I'm just going to change 1.33. Then I'm going to add quite a few of these there to make it pretty much as accurate as we possibly can. And hit OK. And then hit OK again. So now that's our uh, pretty much our hidden line fill pattern sorted there. And we want to go now to our appearance tab and modify the the way that this is actually going to render. And we want to come down into the relief pattern. And currently it's set to this tile square bump PNG, but if we click this, we can come into here and we can see this one here, for example, tile brick, which appears to be that uh, subway tile pattern. And hit open. And if we click the image once, it brings up this dialog. And we can see here uh, it's given us some scale. So you can see that in the vertical there's one, two, three, four. So we would want that dimension to be 400 mil the height and we can see in the horizontal that it's picking up two tiles so one two and because they're 300 each times two we need, we need that to be 600 mil so we can come down here to the scale and the first thing we want to do is unclick this lock aspect ratio and set our width to 600 mil and hit tab and then set our height to 400 mil like so and you can see now that everyone, so 100, 200, 300, 400 gives us that height and 300 plus 300 gives us our 600 here. So I'm happy with that, we can hit done. 
there. And we can also, if we wanted to make this a little larger, we can see exactly how that's going to appear. So pretty much very similar to the sample. So I can just hit OK there. And to apply the material, we've got two options. We can paint it by, if we go to a 3D view. And first, I'm just going to select all this and change the filter out outdoors and change the height of our walls to top constraint level one. Hit apply. And if we come in here, we can firstly apply by painting. So if we go uh, modify paint and select our material, and then we can just simply pick walls. And it's not showing up now because it's in a shade of view, but if we set it to hidden line, you can see there that tile is now showing up like so. And we can orbit around and paint as many of these walls as we can. Note that if we paint this wall, it's going to paint the entire wall. So we probably want to split this first. I'll show you what happens if we do just click. It paints the entire wall with this tile, which we probably don't want, as we only want the tile within the bathroom. So I'm just going to hit Control Z on that. And the first thing we want to do here is split face. So to do that, you want to be in the Modify tab again. And you've got this little split face button up here with shortcut SF. We click that basically lets us select a wall and now we can split this and I want to we want to split it directly on this line so I could draw this and I can also pick line by coming here and just picking that and finishing and now that'll let us if we go to modify again and pick the paint and select our tile and then we can click this part here and as you can see it's only painting that face as we've now split that wall into the two um, the other way to modify this would be to edit the wall type. So I'll show you as an example with this wall type here. Is Firstly, I just want to remove that paint. So if we can modify, click the drop down, remove paint, and pick these two. And then if we select this wall type, and we're just going to edit it and add a tile layer to the actual wall type. So this is probably a more, uh, more accurate way to properly apply a tile material to a wall. So if we go edit type, and duplicate and let's call it stud timber so 90 mil with a 10 mil uh, subway tile inside and let's say 30 mil past the board outside okay so it's a descriptive name it's probably a bit more lengthy than we ideally would like but it's clear nonetheless and then we just want to come down to the structure tab and hit edit. And we can see that there's only one layer in here currently, a structure timber layer of 90 mil thickness. So you just want to hit insert to add our first layer. We're just going to move it down to the interior side and change the function to finish, change the material by clicking this to the subway tile and change the thickness to 10 mil. And then we want to add another layer. So click insert again and move this layer up and change the function to let's say finish again and the material i'm just going to type plasterboard plaster here gypsum wallboard is perfect okay and thickness to let's say 30 mil which is a pretty typical plasterboard or drywall thickness hit okay okay and you can see that there it's applied now the uh the subway tile material and if we zoom in, if we go to a plan view, we can see the layers here as well. We've got the 13 mil plaster on the outside, 10 mil tile on the inside. And all we need to do now is change this wall type from stud timber 90, put the drop down and change it to our wall with the uh, bathroom tile and plasterboard. Now, last thing to just check this, if we click our section here, Consume here. We can first thing we want to do is just just check that our uh, tile is actually 100 high by 300 wide. So just click dimension up here, and let's just dimension one of these tiles. 300, perfect, and dimension it in the vertical as well. 100, perfect, and we can also just align these as well. So notice that, for example, if you wanted a full tile starting in this bottom left corner, um, currently it's obviously not that. And if I just dimension there, you can see it's kind of 175, which is not ideal. Um, if you did want to create a full tile here, you can actually use the align tool. So again, we're in the modify tab already and click align. 
and then to align to this wall, we can pick that and then pick that like so. And if we wanted, we could do the same thing here, align with the floor to that, but that's already pretty much set. So if we just click the dimension there, that's already 100 mil. And then we can see that this now is also a full 300 mil tile like so. So that's pretty much it. If we change this to realistic, we can see also that it's a uh, it's aligned perfectly. It's that 100 high by 300 wide subway tile throughout, and it's going to render pretty nicely with that bump pattern. So that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. Really hope you found that helpful. If so, please leave a like and a comment below. It really does help me out a lot. If you want to see more videos like this, please remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified, and go check out some of the other videos. I'm making more videos all the time, so I'm sure you'll find something helpful out there. Uh, otherwise, thank you again. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.